A surprise announcement from Meta today, Llama 3.3, a new 70 billion parameter model that delivers the performance of our 405B model, but is easier and more cost efficient to run. If we take a look at this model and if we compare it to some of the other frontier models that are out there, whether it's GPT-40, Gemini, or Llama 405B, if we look at the MMLU, now this is comparable to what we had within Llama 3.1 and the 7 billion perimeter model, but this is very close to those models that we see from Google as well as OpenAI. Now, in terms of some of the other benchmarks like instruction following, long context, this model is at the frontier. Now, in terms of some other aspects, it outperforms GPT-40 on math as well. But the big thing here is that this model is about 25 times cheaper than GPT-40. GPT-40 is $2.50 per million tokens of input and $10 per million tokens of output. Whereas this model is 10 cents per million tokens of input and 40 cents per million tokens of output. Right off the bat, if you're interested in testing out this model, it is available on Grok right now. They do already have it integrated with their speculative decoding that they recently added as well. You can also install it from Olama. Now, mind you, for a 70 billion parameter model, this generally speaking isn't going to run on a typical laptop. So you will need some specialized hardware to run that. Right now, it is text only for now. And it is available for download at llama.com slash llama dash download. You can also find this on Hugging Face as well. I'll put the links to all of the tweets as well as all of the links that I'm showing you within the description of the video. Meta mentioned that improvements in the Llama 3.3 were driven by a new alignment process and the progress in online RL techniques. This model delivers similar performance to a Llama 3.1405B with cost effective inference that's feasible to run locally on a common developer's workstation. Now, in terms of the model card, the context length is still 128,000 tokens, and this model was trained on 15 trillion tokens, and the knowledge cutoff is December 2023. Now, Artificial Analysis also performed their first round of independent evaluations on Llama 3.3, and they're seeing a jump in the Artificial Analysis Quality Index from 68 to 74. It does look based on independent evaluations that what Meta is claiming does look to be true. This is a really great chart from artificial analysis that gives a visualization on the jump from today. We saw Llama 3.170B at 68 on their quality index previous to this announcement. Now it's at 74. This is right up there with Mistral Large, just like I mentioned, Llama 3.1405B and also outperforming GPT-40. And this is the version that just came out recently, as well as, of course, a number of other models as well. Finally, I did test this myself on a tool that I have been working on, so this artifacts tool. And from what I found is for a 70 billion parameter model, this model did perform really well. I didn't find that it performed quite as well as something like Sonnet 3.5 for code generation, but in terms of it following direction, and not to mention the cost as well as speed, like you can see within this example, it's really compelling to use for a model. So for code generation, it does quite well. In a number of seconds, you can see that I get to that working application of a calculator after a few iterations to ultimately get there. But generally speaking, I found that it does follow directions really well, as well as in terms of the code that it generates, it's all coherent. But I'd really encourage you to try out this model. There are a number of different options where you can try this out, as well as a number of different providers out there that have this hosted. Now, in terms of some of the providers out there that are hosting the model at time of recording, there's Deep Infra, Hyperbolic, Grok, as well as Fireworks and Together AI. You can see their respective output speeds as well as price all here listed out. Finally, if you're interested in comparing this in some other aspects to other models, I'll leave a link to this within the description of the video. Artificial analysis is a tool that I absolutely love. It's filled with data here. You can check out a number of different benchmarks from whether it's providers or different models themselves. They run evaluations on who's hosting the models as well. There's just a ton of really great information within here that you'd probably find helpful if you're interested in this sort of thing. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for this video. Kudos to the team over at Meta for this release. I look forward to playing around with this a little bit more. But otherwise, if you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.